This is Dredge, guys. It's uh, labelled as an RPG, funnily enough. Uh, you, you, it, it's a story-driven kind of game. With, uh, it doesn't have cutscenes, but it has sort of... Uh, you can see the art style. It has that kind of art style for the characters, and you click through the text. Now, this is just the demo. I don't know if that's going to change. I, I doubt it. It, it, it kind of works just as it is. Quite an atmospheric little game, but um, I don't know if it's my cup of tea or not. Uh, anyway, what you do is you're a fisherman, you come to this island, and this, by the way, is the prologue to the game. Uh, it's from Team 17. It's You can get the demo to play this bit for free. But anyway, you come to this island as a fisherman. The last fisherman mysteriously died, and you talk to some well-dodgy characters on this little island, from the mayor to the, 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 the lass who does the repairs. She seems the only sane person. Everybody else is just crazy-ass, batshit crazy guys. Um, especially the fishmonger guy. He is well weird. But anyway, the way it works is you have to make money. You're given this little boat uh, because you crash yours uh, on the sink, it actually, as, you, as you're coming into the into the island. You're given a new boat, but you have to earn a bit of money to pay it off. So every time you go out fishing, you come back with the, the haul, you sell it to the fishmonger, and a bit of that money is put towards paying off your ship. Now, the demo has upgrades that you can find but you can't equip them um which is a bit of a shame and a bit stupid why can we equip them if yeah never mind but you will find you'll get these research research modules uh, that you find but you can't do anything it says that it's locked out of the demo but you will be able to in the full game upgrade your ship to make it um hold more cargo have lots of gizmos on it and gadgets that will help you through the game because you're going to need them because all is not what it seems guys this isn't just a a trawlering fishing game you have to dredge hence the name dredge uh, a little further on in the story you get your ship kitted out uh, with a dredging uh, kit and like the fishing it's a little mini game the fishing and the dredging are just mini games and you go around looking for little ripples in the water that could be fish or could be uh, shipwrecks and you position yourself over them do the little mini game and haul in all the stuff that's there now when you're dredging you'll find little pieces of clues that's in the story there's a lot of characters in the game people ask you to find certain things if you find this bring it over to me and uh, i'll have a look at it so you find all kinds of trinkets and rings and keys and stuff like that and you bring them and the story start starts to expand now the big thing to watch for in this game is night time because it goes weird at night. The fog comes in and it looks really atmospheric and you can't see shit in front of you. You do have a little light on your ship, but you you can't really see. And things start going mad. You start hallucinating. Rocks start appearing in front of your ship. And if you hit them, obviously you're going to take damage. And there's an angular fish with a light on its head that will wreck you. Absolutely wreck you if, it, if you can't get out of the, the darkness. So you kind of, you want to head back to shore as the night time comes in because it does get freaky but there's a good reason to be out in the night a lot of different types of fish spawn during the night that are quite valuable so you do want to be out there but be careful don't wander too far off I really like this idea. Um, it adds a lot of atmosphere and excitement to the kind of boring start that the game had. Uh, but when the night time hit, I was like, oh yeah, this is good now. This is starting to be good. It, it sets the atmosphere. The problem with it is the time, it goes over so damn fast that you hardly get a chance to do the things that you want to do through the day. For example, if you have to drop a passenger off somewhere, that, that kind of takes the whole day, just leaving your little dock going a little way across the map to another island, and before you know it, it's getting dark, so you haven't really had time to do much else, so you, you're constantly having to go back and forth to docks, and it just eats away at the time. The prologue doesn't really give you much of an idea of what's going on, but there's something really bad and sinister and evil, and there's some well-dodgy characters, and I really am genuinely interested to see how the story pans out. So if you like a bit of a story, you like a bit of an excitement, you like a bit of fish, a bit of dredge, check it out. It's it's about It took us about 25 minutes or so to do it, um, but it's well worth doing. 
bit of a unique kind of game and I do actually like the whole fishing thing and selling and making money and, and I think upgrading your ship will be great fun. So there you go guys, that's Dredge um, demo out right now.